Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Recently, I made a video about the new secret Riddler's Mindworm mount. This is a hidden mount in the game, and to get it, you have to go around the world, click on these super hidden pages, and they'll give you a vague description of the location of the next page. They've all been found, there are 9 in total, and you have to click on them in order to get the mount, similar to the Cosmoth the Hungering secret. So, in this video, I'll show you the location of every single one, and run you through the process of getting this mount. In the description, I'll have a script for you to use. This keeps track of which pages you clicked and which ones you haven't, so it's handy. Note that this script is behind one page, and it doesn't include the first page, which you can find in the Ledger Main Lounge in Dalaran. You can think of this one as page 0. Its exact coordinates are 4841 in the Broken Isles Dalaran. It's sitting on a bookshelf on the lower level, and it reads of sea, spirit, and self. Our next page is located at coordinates 4933 in Duskwood, next to the Emerald Gateway sitting on a bench. It reads first of the lords to fall. If you remember, Regnaros was the first elemental lord we killed in the game, and a page can be found next to him in the Firelands. If you're facing him, to the left next to this brazier, you'll find page 161. Note that some of these pages are in dungeons or raids, and they can be in any difficulty setting. You may as well do this one in Heroic 25 Man though, since you get more gold. You can find the entrance to the Firelands at coordinates 4680 in Mount Hygel. This one reads, The Wind and the Eye. This leads us to the Uldum Zone. It's at coordinates 7078 between the two trees. It says the plume, the tomb, and a scarab moon. This brings us to the Siege of Orgrimmar and Pandaria, inside the fourth boss's room, the Shah of Pride. This raid is located at coordinates 7244 in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, before he head in, set it to 10 man normal. You do have to go through a few bosses first to reach his room, and a couple aren't really straightforward, so I'll briefly explain them in case you haven't been here yet. The first one is Immersius. After you drain his health, he splits up into different puddles. Just kill the shop puddles before they reach the center. You don't have to get every one, although the more you get, the shorter the fight is. You will have to do this over and over, and it takes around 5 minutes on average. The next fight is a triple boss battle. Just kill the adds and kill the bosses within 10 seconds of each other or else they heal up. The third fight is Norishin's Trial. Just DPS the boss and don't click the orbs or else you'll reset the fight. And after finishing that, the shop prize room should open up. Head to the southwestern area as you can see by this map and the note will be on the floor. You don't need to kill the boss to be able to click on it. This one reads in snow, sand, and stone. The next page is located in the Well of Eternity dungeon in the Caverns of Time. You can find a portal to there in central Dalaran. It's located on the southeastern side of the well as you can see from my position on the map. To get here, you need to kill the first two bosses and you get sent down on a drake to the area. At this point, you may be wondering why some of these pages are located where they are. If you're curious, I'll have some explanations in the description, but for this video, I wanted to keep it strictly for page locations. For the next page, return to Pandaria and head on over to coordinates 3450 in the Kunlai Summit. On this giant tiger statue between its feet, you'll find the page. Click on it and it'll say, The Bejeweled Watcher. This takes us back to Uldum for our last page. Head over to the eastern side of the zone at coordinates 7653 and once again, look near the feet of the statue and it reads, Ray of Sunrise. And this takes us to our final destination in Westfall at coordinates 3027. This isn't a page, but rather a treasure chest washed ashore. And inside is the Riddler's Mindworm. And that's the hunt complete. If you run the script again, it should update the last two pages. I'm not sure what's up with that, but this is indeed the end of the journey. All credit goes to the people in the Wowhead comments page for this mount and the associated Discord group. I'm just the guy who made a video about it. It was quite the experience watching everyone try to piece together these clues and figure things out. This and Kasamoth were really neat elements of secrets and exploration added to the game, and I think it's great that they're adding it in. Hopefully we'll see more of it. That's all I have to say though. Grats on the mount. I hope you found the video helpful. Like it if you liked it, and thanks for watching. Peace.